All right, so this morning I want to talk to you guys about chapter 1-4. So if you're in class or at home, you need to take notes in your three ring binder. And then when you're finished, if you're in class, the sub has a printout of the assignment. And if you're at home, just click the load button at the bottom of the assignment to open up the PDF version of the assignment. And you can use the pen tool or the text box tool to fill out each um, question on your assignment and then submit and submit to turn it into me for grading. Um, for this assignment, I want you to do the odds only. And then if you would like to do the evens for bonus, you can do that. So we're going to go through a couple of examples. This will look almost exactly like your homework assignment. So the first thing I want to talk about is what is an ordered pair. And you'll see here, right, the term ordered pair. An ordered pair just means an X and a Y. So basically it's a point on a coordinate plane. And um, a coordinate plane is this right here. So it is a graph. And you'll notice, do it in different colors here, you've got an X axis right here and then you have a y-axis that runs up and down that's called a coordinate plane and when you have a point on that coordinate plane that point is called an ordered pair and so it's if you go out to where the x is and then you go up to where the y is wherever that point is that is considered an ordered pair so let me erase this here and then we will practice graphing ordered pairs. So if you look at example number one here, it says Q, graph the ordered pair on the coordinate plane. Uh, we'll do Q right here, we'll do this one in red, okay? All right, so we're gonna graph Q. Q is at, now remember, it's always X first, so it's X comma Y, that's the ordered pair. So that means that we're gonna go, if you look at the coordinate plane here, Remember, this is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. So on the x-axis, right here, we're going to go over to 4, which is right here. And then the y is up 2, so we're going to go up to the 2. So we're at the x on the 4 and the y on the 2, right? We go over to 4 on the x, and we go up to 2 on the y. And where those two meet, that is the point Q. So you would put a point. Now, of course, you don't need all this extra. That's just to show you why I put it there. But you would put a point at 4, 2, okay, like I did, 4, 2, and then you would name that point Q. So let's look at example 2, and we'll do example 2 in purple, okay? So example 2, remember, this is X and Y. So on the X axis, we're going to go over 3, so that puts us here. And then the Y, we're going to go up 7. So here's the 3, and then we're going to go up to the 7 on the Y. So we've got the 3 here, the 7 here, and where they cross, that is the point V. Let's do another one in blue. So we'll do the point right here. Here's T, and it's 0 on the X. Well, 0 on the X is right here, and then we're going to go up to the 3, so we go zero over, which means we don't go over to the right at all. We stay right over zero. And then we go up one, two, three, which puts us right there. And so that is our point T. So when you're asked to graph an ordered pair, you graph over the X and then up the Y, however many it says, and then you put a point where the X and the Y intersect. So let's do one more example. We'll do it in yellow. Let's do R. We go over 5, so over 5, which puts us here. Now notice the y is 0, so that means we go up 0. So right there is the point R. Okay? All right, now on this one, on this second section here, it asks us to write the ordered pair that names each point. So we're going to look for J. So let's find J on our coordinate plane. And let's, we'll do this one in red. So let's look for J. Well, here's J right here. So in order to write the ordered pair, you're always going to use the brackets, and you're always going to put the X first, right? The X first, and then the Y. So looking at J, here's your X axis right here. So we go over 1, 2, 3, 4. So our X value is 4. 
And then how many do we need to go up to reach J? Will we go up one? So the point four, one, right? Right there, four, one is J. So how about we do X in blue? So here's X right here, okay? Well, how many, here's zero. How many do we have to go over to get to X? Well, we don't go over at all, right? We don't go this way at all. This is your X. And we don't go over at all, so our x value is 0. And then how many do we go up? Oops. We go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the point zero, 07 is our x. Uh, let's look at r. We'll do r in purple. So here's r right here. So ask yourself, how many do I need to go over? Which the answer in this case is 2. So our x value is 2. And then how many do we need to go up? Well, we have to go up 2. So our y value is 2. So again, we go over, whoops. We go over 2, and we go up 2. And that's the r point. Um, let's look at one more. We'll do b in yellow. So we find b on the coordinate plane. And so how many do we need to go over in order to find B. So we go over all the way to 8. So the X value is 8. And then we need to go up to 5. Right? We go over 8 and we go up 5. And there's our B point. So the coordinate or the ordered pair is 8, 5. All right. Last but not least, it says express each relation. And a relation is just a fancy word for right here, a set of ordered pairs. So when it asks you for a relation, a relation is just a set of ordered pairs, okay? So express each relation, so each set of ordered pairs, as a table and as a graph. Well, we've already said that for each ordered pair, there's an x and a y, an x and a y, an x and a y, right, and an x and a y. So if we're going to write each one of these points as an x and a y, let's do this first one right here, right? That's the point 3, 7. So we just write the 3 in the x category and the y, oops, sorry, the y, which is a 7 in the y category. Now let's plot that point. That means we go over 1, 2, 3, and we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now you don't have to put all those counting points on there like I do. If you can just look at your graph, and you can see the three, and then you can see the seven up here. You can just put the ordered pair over three, right, over three, and then up seven, okay? Now, let's look at the next one, the point one, one. So we're gonna put one, one, and let's graph the point one, one. So we go over one, up one, right, over one, up one. And then the next point we'll do in purple, so we've got the point 6, 5, so we put it in here. X is a 6, Y is a 5, that means we go over 6, and then we go up 5, so right here. And again, you don't need to put all those arrows in there, I just do those to show you why I am making the moves. <clears throat> and then last, let's do our last one in red. And so we have the point 2, 4. Okay, the point two, four, so we put the two and the four, and then we go over two and up four, right? Over two, up four, and there's our red point. Okay, so real quick, on this one, there's only three points, so we're going to graph the point zero, two. Well, first, we're gonna put it in the table. Then remember, when you go over zero, you don't go over at all, right? We don't go this way at all because it's zero, but we go up two, so there's the point zero, two. For the next point, we've got point four six, so we're gonna put it in our table. And then we go over four, right? X is always your, this is always your X, so X is always your left and right. And then we go up six, so over four, up six. Okay, there's our purple point. And then last, we'll do that one in yellow. We've got the point three seven, X, Y, three seven. We go over three, right, so over three. And then up seven, puts a point right over three right here, and then up seven to there. And that's how you plot that point. 
on your homework assignment, you're not going to have anything here from the bottom. So all you're going to have to do is on the first section, you're going to graph your ordered pairs. On the second section, you're going to find the letter on your coordinate plane, and then you're going to write the ordered pair that corresponds with it. And then on the bottom section, you're going to put your relation, which remember your relation is just a set of ordered pairs. You're going to put your relation first in a table, which is in the X and Y table, and then secondly, you're going to graph them on the coordinate plane. All right, so if you're in class, the sub will give you your paper now. If you are at home, go ahead and click Load in Kami and load your assignment and use your text box and pen tool to complete all your work. And then either way, this is due tomorrow, Tuesday, at the beginning of class uh, for my in-class students and by 4 p.m. By my, for my um, virtual students. And if you have any questions, as always, email me and let me know what question you have a, a problem with.